Here we are between the cities of Salt Springs, Florida and Palaka, Florida at the Rodman Campground located on the Rodman Reservoir and the Cross Florida Barge Canal. We're going to give you a tour and show you what this park's all about and what it has to offer. And our campsite is right there. Marjorie Harris Carr, Cross Florida Greenway, Rodman Campground, Palatka, Florida. You make your reservations on the Florida State Park Reservation System. One through 39 is straight ahead, 40 through 68 to the right. We're in 40 through 68. 1 through 39 is RV camping, and there are some primitive sites there as well, quite a few. Now it's a little bit of a wind to get back up in here, but it's a scenic drive, and uh, again, great roads to ride your bike on, in addition to the bike trail you're going to see here in a few minutes. Stay tuned till the end of this video to hear our recap. We can, we, there we talk about things to do in the area, things this park has to offer, and other information. Now if you notice that we might skip a campsite here and there, it is because if people are out, we don't, we don't publish those. We try to respect people's privacy, and I'll try to call out the numbers as we go along, but it, main thing is that you get a gist of it. So 41 is to the right. Forty-two to the right. Straight ahead, 43, that empty one you see there. These are gravel sites. It's a rustic campground. You have, but you do have electric and water. 45 was to the right. 47's to the left, 48 we just passed, and right there you see the bathhouse, and they do have laundry facilities, yay, that's an ADA site right there, 49, $1.50 at this time, and they have two of each, okay, I'm 52 is to the right. Not seeing all the numbers as I go by, but yeah, I'm giving you the gist of the area. There are some brush that is obstructing some of the views. 54 is to the left. I believe that's a camp post there. And then off to the left here, as we're passing, there's site 56. And the Florida Trail is off to our right in those woods. And we're coming around to the waterfront sites. Here you'll see a trailhead straight ahead. It's a nature trail and a bike trail. And so that trail just goes along the water right there. Very beautiful. These sites are empty to my left, so you can get an idea of what they look like. There is the canal to the right. 59 is the first one, and then we have 60. views of this canal here. So see that canal is nice and wide. 63, 64, and there we are, site 65, our happy little home. Site 66, Site 67, and the last one on this row is Site 68. 
and straight ahead is uh, another little area you can walk along the water. Plenty of room to walk your dogs. And you can see these high berms here. These are from the diggings to create the canal. This is the primitive camping area. I have stayed here before when hiking the Florida Trail. So I'll just point out some sites as we drive around. There's 14 to the right, 15 to the left. You have a lantern pole and a picnic table and a fire ring and grill. 17 and 18. So you're tucked up here in the palmettos and you will hear things in the palmettos and cabbage palms <laughs> as my little dog did the night I stayed here. Site 19 is right there to the left, 20, 21. But these are nice, deeper sites. Plenty of privacy between you and your neighbor. Tucked up in the pines and the palms and the palmettos. Site 28 to the right, right there. And site 23 is to my left. So I am solo today. You may notice that we're not panning as much, but trying to give you a good overview here. Oops, I don't know where this road goes. Am I on the wrong road here? I don't know, there's more. But wait, there's more. This is your campsite coming up. On the left there is site 27. to the right and there's another one right beside it. I don't see the number though. So this looks like the, oh no that is a campsite right there to the right and there's a trail. What you see right through that trail right there that goes to the boat ramp and Rodman Lake or Lake Oklawaha and you can get to the Oklawaha River from there and you can eventually get to the Silver River from there which we spent some time on a few days ago. Site 38 to the left. Site 39 to the left. And here we are, back out the main area. Straight ahead is part of the RV campsites. We'll hit that in a minute. So it was about um, a year ago, I did a kayak overnighter on this beautiful lake. And it was amazing. I took my hammock. Uh, there are some places you can camp out. You pay a little fee to park your vehicle here. So here we have the boat ramp. So I'm just gonna swing over here to the picnic area and let you get a peek of that. Beautiful sunsets here. Oh, it's just incredible. This also connects to what we always call the Barge Canal, the Cross Florida Barge Canal. And that um, was a project that was started way back years ago, 60s or maybe even before. But thank goodness that they stopped it because that would have really affected our Florida water and the fresh water here. So what we have are these really cool recreation areas where they did the diggings and there's hills and mounds and the Florida Trail passes through so much of it and bike trails. So it's now a great recreational place. So straight ahead you can see where the boat ramp is. Right there, 
Russian gators. And look out for manatees. Manatees do come up in this area. And there you can walk around the lake there. So this is the boat parking. Bathrooms there. And here is the campground, starting with site number one. Here's site number five to the right where that pop-up is. The site numbers aren't easy to see. Site number nine's to the right there. Site seven was to the left. That's Salem right there. Let's give you a good idea what number that is. Site 10. Site 11 to the left. a little bit more open out here. Um, look like they're a little closer together. But you're right by the boat ramp. So that's great I, Great for boaters. And so leaving this area. So this is coming back up to the check-in station and you can see the off to the right here coming up is the dump station. Looks like today is lawn crew day. That was our, uh, or actually Sharon's, since I was out fishing and I didn't get to participate in the drive around. <laughs> she had to do it alone. I think she did a very good job. Rodman Campground. We call it Rodman Campground. If yeah. it's otherwise, we'll put it down yeah. here. <laughs> and we're located, and this park is located about 10 miles from the city of Palatka, Florida. With Palaka, Florida, which sits on the St. John's River. In fact, the Barge Canal, what would have been the Barge Cross Florida the Barge Canal behind, if you go that way, you will actually go through locks and into the St. John's River. If you go the other direction, you're going to the Rodman Reservoir, or Lake Ocklawaha, if you want to call it, which then, which is fed by the Ocklawaha River, which runs a long way, extremely scenic river, it's like one of the top rated kayak um, rivers to kayak because it's so scenic and clear It's a water. wild, it's wild river. It is very beautiful. Yes. If you ever get to kayak it. Yes. Um, and also the Florida Trail runs through here too for hiking. Yes, it does. So, <laughs> we kind of did that backwards. But anyway, our site here is um, it's, uh, gravel and you have to pop over this little curb behind us to get on here. Uh, we got on here okay, and uh, and we're very low. We're we're level, mm -hmm. and we 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 sit pretty low once we've dropped our bags. But um, we didn't have to go through any uh thing special to get level or anything like that. We just the jacks were good enough. We we have our jacks on boards, but that part went well. Um, there are two loops to this campground. There's the older loop, which I call the older loop, which is. Loop one, which is campsites one through whatever. Yeah, I don't know, but it's up by the boat ramp. Yes. And this is what I call the phase two, or they call phase two campground over here, which goes up through 68. 40 through 68 or something like yeah. that. Which is a newer, and of course, this row here sits on the, the barge canal. Mm -hmm. So um, <clears throat> I prefer the phase two loop, but either one is okay. Um, they do have the boat ramp over there, a uh, the couple of bathhouses, ours is right over this berm, and like, like Sharon alluded to, the showers are nice, we both used showers there, mm -hmm. she did laundry there, and that worked out well. Uh, we have 50 amp service, we have water at site, there is no sewer at site, they do have a dump station. There's a bike trail at the end of this road that goes along the canal here. It's very beautiful. It mm -hmm. is dirt, but it's hard packed, so you won't have any trouble. And you can even walk that way a little bit. Yes. So it goes on down a little bit toward the uh, 
where it joins into the uh, reservoir. And as I shared in the drive about, if you wanted to ride on the roads around here or ride over the dam, that's not heavily trafficked, so you wouldn't have any problem. Right. Just don't get out on 19. That's yeah. a little bit busier. I think I said Palaka was 10 miles from here. It's actually 15 miles up 19 to get to Palaka. And there's a Walmart in Palaka and Publix, and it's a big city. Um, there's all kind of things in Palaka, stores, restaurants, all that. But we need, do need to share, this is kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yes. So it's kind of between Salt Springs and Palatka. And so there's no popping up to the grocery store or anything unless you go all the way back to Salt Springs or all the way to Palatka. Right. Now, Salt Springs, as Sharon just said, that's 10 miles back the other way on 19. And there is a supermarket there and there's a gas station there. And there's um, some like, look, there's a taco stand there, there's a bait store, there's, there's some stuff going on in. Yeah, a couple little restaurants. Little restaurants in the city of Salt Springs. And there's also Salt Springs Recreation Area, mm -hmm. which is another fantastic campground. Um, they do have swimming there. That is on the uh, Salt Springs Run, which is a water. I think it's, when I used to boat it, I believe it was like a five mile run and it empties into Lake George, mm -hmm. which is a, actually a big widening of the St. John's River. But Salt Springs is right up the road if you, um, you want to go up there and check out that campground or that recreation area, which is a very nice place to go and if you want to mm -hmm. swim and have during if it's warm enough. It's very um, busy. It's spring water. Spring water's cold. Yes, it's so, like seventy-two degrees. So and you're not going to jump into bath water, bath water uh -uh. temperature there. No. And there is no swimming here because the alligators and you wouldn't want to. No, I saw a big boy out there the other day. It must have been mm -hmm. eight foot. Yeah, he was a, he was full grown. You will, can also see manatees. We saw a manatee a couple of days ago swimming up the canal here. Mm -hmm. But there's lots of different birds that come through here, fly overhead, and if you like the bird watching, because the reservoir itself is a, like a bird watching paradise over mm -hmm. there. Migratory birds come in and out. So the Robin Reservoir is out there. It's a, it's a flooded reservoir, so there's lots of stumps throughout the throughout the uh, the reservoir which is also Lake Oklawaha which is fed by the Oklawaha River it's a great fishing destination it's one of the people that like to bass fish they have tournaments out there it's a bass fishing one of the top bass fishing places to, to come to if you like to, to bass fish or any other type of fishing you know freshwater fishing is there the Robin Reservoir itself is on is what we call the high side there's a dam there and then on the other side of it is the, the Aquawaraha River continues on into the St. John's and then that is what we call the low side. Mm -hmm. It's very scenic. Very scenic if you just like to boat around and look at things. They do have a marked channel that goes through the reservoir. Stay in the channel, no problems. Once you get either out of the channel left to right, then you've got to start watching for the uh, trees, the submerged trees and stuff like that. So anyway, that was a little bit about the Rodman Reservoir, which was, would have been part of the cross board of Large Canal. Right, the th time. thankfully they uh, scratched that plan. Right. <laughs> so we have these wonderful recreation areas because they had started digging out the canal for the ships to cut through mm -hmm. the middle of Florida. That's what all these berms are. Yeah. The dredged sand. The internet, the okay, so Verizon works, but it is not stable. So we've had, I've had some really good days and some days that are, it's a little bit slow, but it does work. And I don't know about other providers, but for Verizon, it's okay. <laughs> we'll say okay. It's okay. Middle of the road. I mean, sometimes it was fine. Four. When you're driving here, you will lose service because this is in the Ocala National Forest and some of the, on the trip here, Either way you come, I am sure, but I know coming from the Ocala, Florida area, it is going to be um, service hit or miss, coming goes. Apparently we are in prime time for boating people to go past and other people to get ready to leave and dogs barking. <laughs> and This is typical for us when we want to do a video. It, it has, can be dead quiet all morning. It has been so quiet and peaceful here. Hardly any boats out here. And today, how many boats have gone by? There must have been and, 12 go by there. Yeah, so it's just, uh, it's par for the course. 
this is real life. We have to leave today, so yeah. we have to do this. So I guess we're going to wrap this, about time to wrap this up anyway. For oh, this. we've got to pack up. Yeah, pack up and go. But this is a great campground, no matter what site you get. Of course, if you can nab one of these 60s sites, they're right on the canal. It's very peaceful and um, plenty of room to walk your dog, ride your bike, fish. Go fish, boat, boat kayak. kayak. It's just everything that the woods have to offer here in Florida. So with that being said, this is Gary and of course Sharon. All right, Terry and Luna over there looking for squirrels and yeah. dogs walking by. <laughs> Leave us a comment if you've ever been to this park mm -hmm. or any Salt Springs Park or anything like that. Or what is your favorite Florida State Park? Yep. Maybe, and there's some we have not been to. Yeah, there are a few. So we, we've been to quite a few, and I did put a link in this video of the floor, our Florida campground playlist, but I know there's others out there we yes. haven't been to. So, uh, well, coming up, with our next part will be uh, way down upon the Swanee River. Another Florida we'll State Park. Right, so, this this is uh, in the Florida State Park system. So if you go to reserve here at Rodman, you'll need to go to Florida right. State Parks and reserve there. Gary and Sharon, we like looking at freedom. Safe travels. Hope to see you on the road sometime. Take care. Bye. Bye.